So another day of painting has arrived. This will be painting number five, session A, a nice blank canvas, <laughs> nothing better. Okay, so on this one I have decided to create a, a kind of, an, again, a quiet atmosphere. It's, it's all about atmosphere, really. And the palette, again, limited. I like to work with a limited palette lately. And sort of, I thought on the right-hand side there, I'm taking a little bit of a kind of viridian, a darkish green with black. And I'm bleeding it over to a ultramarine with a bit of magenta in it, sort of purpley. And then, then the two trends sort of move into each other. So creating a quite a quiet, I wouldn't say austere, but a nice mystical atmosphere. Because, I mean, these aren't landscapes. This is all about what's out there in the great universe, inspired by all that, although these aren't paintings of the universe. But I'm trying to create this feeling of depth and and quietness and distance and so on. So it's a very loose approach. Of course, a lot of linseed oil in the beginning here with the paint, which helps like You can see it's actually running there. And then I just take a cloth, and I find the cloth here helps tremendously to give you lovely marks, it gives me lovely marks and gives me a sense of freedom and it really does um, push the paint around in a, in a beautiful way and it creates very unexpected marks and also picks up quite a bit of the linseed, linseed oil which can be a little bit much. Okay and now I'm going to have a central focus where I, I wanted to create a feeling of light um, sort of coming out from the, from, from the um, center with a, a sort of central point of, of focus, right in the smack in the middle of the painting. Why not? Because I liked these paintings to be hung anyway, so for some reason I just thought that it would be quite nice for the composition. But um, at the moment it looks a bit like a rock and a bit like a landscape, which I will eventually break down. But for now, in the beginning, to have a little bit of structure is not necessarily a bad thing. I can sort of work around that and play with it. Again, with the cloth, create the atmosphere because a lot of light will be, um, what's the word, um, projecting from that central area as it, as it moves. And that central cloud or whatever it's going to be in the, in the middle, it'll, it'll probably dictate to me what it wants to be later. So the paintings do tend to have a, a voice of their own initially, <laughs> eventually. Yes, and then in the, in the light areas, I'm just emphasizing the green there a little bit. On the other side, I'll do the same with the purple, just to blend up to the top, to give it a sort of a bit of tension in the color, and then I'll put it blue. I may even put a bit of tur um, turquoise in it later in the painting, but for now, this, I think, will be sufficient. And then there's the same with that, that side on the light, because that area is going to become a lot lighter. It's going to be a focal point. It's going to, um, yeah, and then I'll use oh, some burnt sienna in the center, and that'll be my palette. From here on, I will work and I will build up some atmosphere, some nice um, structure and feeling and whatever happens as the painting develops itself. But for now, I think that's a nice atmosphere to work with and to let it sort of just um, to grow on me because as they dry, they hang around where I'm working so I can look at them and I can sort of decide in the next two, three weeks, which is the next step I'm going to take this painting to. This is just using the dry brush and picking up some of the linseed oil and pushing the paint around and sort of just letting the paint settle a little bit so it doesn't run too much when it stands now because I can't have them all I'm standing lying flat because then it also takes up a lot of space first of all and it's quite nice to have them to turn them around as they dry and let some of the running also create some textures and things over the, over the next two weeks or so. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, now this is just a bit of detail here of me just taking a finer brush and um, focusing in on some areas and just softening them up before it goes to sleep for a while. Just sort of, sort of mostly uh, towards the center and these light greens and stuff that I just want to, to sort of fiddle with. And besides, it's just it's pure fun as well. It's a very sensual, fun process. Okay, well, that's as far as I got on the first one. And let's this thing sleep for a while and I'll revisit this baby again on in about two weeks' time. <laughs>